Boker Tov, Yom Tov, Zohori Tovim, and Lila Tov, no matter where you're at. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Carrie. I had another question that I wanted to answer regarding uh, a scripture, and it was connected to the garden and the gardeners. And this scripture actually is is very personal to me, as this was a prayer of mine for years. And I'll tell you a little story about it. I was in the Christian church, and I would come up and regularly ask for prayer from the pastor after service about receiving the double portion, as in reference to Elijah and Elisha. And I asked for this many, many times. Fast forward a couple years later, we had another pastor that was visiting the church very soft and gentle man. He worked in prophetics. Uh, he was very able in that, connecting to source, to check in and see where individuals were at and whatever source wanted to share. And when I was called up to be prayed over and to be prophesied over, this pastor brought up this scripture. Now he had no way of knowing that this was a prayer of mine that I had asked many, many, many times over for years asking for the double portion. And the key piece that he said, if you see me, it shall be given to you. Well, fast forward it to about 15 years later, and I am going to be sharing the scripture with you, some key points in it regarding the double portion. We see this scripture in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9, which again, I do not take anything as coincidence. So we have a 2, a 2, and a 9. So the 22 letters of the sacred languages that produces the 9 nature of completion. And when you add all, four, or all three of those numbers together, you get the number 13, which is the gematria for the Hebrew word love, ahava. So when we look at this, we can see that so it was when they crossed over that, that Elijah said to Elisha, ask, what may I do for you before I am taken away from you? And he said, Elisha, let be please a portion double of your spirit upon me. So again, this is mechanical translation, so reading in English is a little choppy, but let's see what's going on. This is haya. This means to be, to become, to come to pass. This is the root of Ahaya, Asher Ahaya, I am that I am. And it's letting us know that we've, we connect in humility to Mother. She will present the vision from her side that will reveal the vision of Father in the completeness of becoming I am. Then we have our beautiful word, Eber, to cross over. And this is part of the, when we say the Aleph Bayit Ibri, the Hebrew alphabet, that is this root word right here that means to cross over. And what are we doing to cross over? It's being able to see the purpose, have the eyes to see how to spiritually build our temple through the 222 process, the two paths of the 22 letters, Hebrew and Aramaic, that will raise us up from being poor and destitute into first fruit leaders. And the little diamond on top, this is uh, a cantillation mark that literally means a gift from God. And it means to be quadrated, which is connected to the 144,000 and their qualifications so that they can be selected as those who are pure and innocent, who have rendered everything clear. So how was this done? This crossing over into that state was by yoking and taming themselves to the teachings of mother, which is through the language, because this is a cough pay, the constituent letters and making our vessels available to be filled so that we can be completed through the water teachings, living water teachings of mother and father. This is now showing, since it's a surrounded mem, we're out of the waters of chaos, and we've actually been born again into the place of father and his teachings where we are completed in Shalom. It's interesting to see the two words here between Elijah, Elijah, and Elisha, which is the English interpretations, 
but it's it's Eliyahu and Elisha. Elisha. So Eliyahu is a strong leader, teaching shepherd, who carries forth a double vision that has become one, that will be revealed and bring forth a revelation so that you can connect to mother and father. That's pretty profound. So Elijah said to Elijah, so again, as mother, um, to raise Elisha up from being poor and destitute. This is the words he spoke. And to, he, this is, Elisha had already had the L status, who he was already a strong leader, teaching shepherd. And what's beautiful about Elisha's name here, so it's L that has power within as Yasha. This is literally the root for the name of Yeshua. This is salvation. This is really, really amazing to see that that's what Elijah's name really means. So God is salvation. And then we go in a little bit deeper because I want you to be able to see this. So Eliashu, it's from Shua, a cry for help. A halu coming from Shava is a cry out for help to be free freedom from trouble so in looking at his name <clears throat> that which provides us help in the time of need Elisha was coming as this representation to Sheol this is the root of hell. This is the root of Hades, Sheol, to ask questions. Which is, when you get consumed with something, you go and ask a strong leader teaching shepherd for the answer. So then the question is, what may I do? So what? And ma, this is literally the root, believe it or not, of manna. So the living water teachings are meant to bring revelation. Well, what revelation? What may I do and make a sa for you? As you are already knowing that we are one, and this is on the presentation of the mother's side, you've seen that which is within you, the fountain of the deep and the purpose of the consuming fire. And then this time, because the dot is on the left, this is the consuming fire of Father, and look at that, it has the revelation of his teaching. This is through the spirit that is now connected, the spirit that was removed from the garden. So what we're seeing here is that Elijah had already gone through this process. He had already become one. He understood that. And he had his spirit return back to him. He was fully connected with his higher spirit. And he was asking, what can I do for you, for you, as a teaching shepherd of light, as I have poured everything out for you through the language, before I am taken away, this Betaram, we'll go in and take a look at this a little bit deeper. This is, uh, you can see the, the root then would be a Tavresh Mem. So to interrupt, suspend, or a non-occurrence, not yet or before. So, the reason why it's that way is because Elisha had built it. Elijah, or Elijah had built it. Elisha was still in the process of it. He hadn't quite built it yet. There was a suspended process of it because he was still wrestling things in order to raise himself up to be completed. Lachak meaning to be, to take. So the reason why he was taken was because he already was as one, as God. And what's beautiful here is this Lamed, this is two Lameds that have become one. Two twin teachings, two instructions that were given to make him as God. 
moving on, from you, we have the word Am, which is also the word for tribesmen, as in the tribesmen of Israel, as people. We have the Mem, the living water teachings of the people, that you must empty out your cup in order to be filled with the language of revelation. And so instead, again, as a reminder to Elisha, you must empty your cup and be filled with the living languages of light because your process has been suspended. In other words, while Elijah was still here, Elisha was his training was interrupted because he had the teacher of light with him all the time. And that teacher of light as El needed to be removed from him so that he could raise himself up, so that he could learn to be, take the two visions, so connect to mother, take the twin visions that have become one to raise himself up, but it was going to be a bitter process because his teaching shepherd was going to be removed. But yet in his very name, L is my help. He was relying on the God who was teaching him, the strong leader teaching shepherd, to be his help. And so there was a cry, a desperation of don't leave me because I still need to have these revelations that I can connect to. And this is a plea, as in a uh, pray now please or entreaty, exhortation, through the spiritual path of one, please may a portion double of your spirit upon me. This is from the root, pay, mouth, a portion double, the mouth that speaks power, double power, shanaim, to do again, to repeat, shana, in the circle of time. He knew that he needed to have his mouth to be pierced with the power that would come from the language that has revelation to it to give him the double power that he needed in order to build through the spirit his temple through the 222 process. He needed to be pierced with that within and he knew that he needed to pour himself out of everything in order for him to receive what he needed to through the double portion through the language that would give him power so that he could build himself and become just the same as L-E. He didn't need to be saved anymore. So he was needing to be delivered, Yasha, saved from his beast ego lesser nature. He knew it was going to take a double portion, a double portion of the language, hence through mother and father, through the esoteric hidden teaching side, because it's a yod on the suffix, that was he was going to need, that has to be ascertained through spirit to build himself, because he hadn't quite grasped fully, and he knew he needed to be poured out to the things that were not, that were of the material realm, so then he could just become ele, he could become an el, who has power of the Father on the right hand, given because he went through the door of his inner man to deliver himself of his lesser nature so that he could save himself from his own beast nature. So this is connected, the double portion is connected to the language. And again, this is an answer to my prayers years and years ago, 15 years ago, that I would be able to see this and I would continue to be able to work on the process through my spirit to build my temple through love so that I never, so I didn't have to be saved from myself anymore so that I could actually become a strong teaching shepherd of light who walks in the power of love and gives that away to others who would come and seek and inquire while they are in Sheol so that they would comprehend the need for the consuming fire of mother and the consuming fire of father so that we could become L's strong leader teaching shepherds while in the lower realms now so that we could be seated in the waters above through our process. It was a great question and I hope this answers a good resolve that we could seek these things through the language of light and love 
to become, just as Elijah and Elisha, through the double portion received through the languages. Shalom, shalom, and namaste.